Today, Emma, Randy, Emily, and I are going to explain and show how temperature affects deep ocean currents. So we are going to put the red dye in the middle at the bottom, and then we're going to put the blue dye on that side to represent our deep ocean currents. Then we're going to put the cup with hot water under the red dye and see what happens to the red dye. We think that when we put the red dye in the middle, it, it will expand around the bucket and the blue dye will go over where the red was and it'll go in a circle. Okay. When, 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 In this. Okay, we're gonna put this in time lapse so that it doesn't take 10 minutes. Okay, so this is representing our bucket, this is our water, and then this is our cup of heat or hot water. So we put the blue dye down here. And the red there. Um, and then the red dye, or the heat made the red dye um, less dense because it's more dense right now. So since it's less dense than the water now, it rises up. And then the blue dye comes over here because they want some of the heat. And um, then this moves toward the sides because it's colder over there and it needs to take the spots. And then since it's colder over here, this becomes more dense and goes down because it's more dense than the water. Then the blue dye does what the red dye does and it kind of moves up. And then it does this forever. And that's called a convection. Um, current, um, 